In 1886, Robert Louis Stevenson wrote The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, a tale about two antagonistic personalities inhabiting the same person, one good and the other evil. Life and fiction often intersect, and today we have our own Jekyll and Hyde. Plastic, from use to abuse. Plastic was named after its key physical property, plasticity, something that can be easily molded. It was in the second half of the 19th century that we were able to artificially produce what we now call plastic. And in the 20th century, once it started being produced from oil, plastic quickly became widespread. And so plastic entered our daily lives without us noticing it. In cars, clothes, televisions, smartphones, and in health, like prosthetics and pacemakers, for example. It's lightweight, inexpensive, and easy to produce. In the food industry, plastic ensures good hygiene and safety standards. It is also an excellent way to reduce food waste, as it's able to store food effectively. So far, so good. Plastic is designed to last, but this quality is at the same time a menace. One single plastic bag is used on average 15 minutes, and the same bag will take hundreds of years to decompose. And now, we don't know what to do with the billions of tons not properly discarded over the past decades. Around 13 million tons of plastic end up in the oceans every year. That's equivalent to dumping a truckload of plastic into the sea every minute. We are polluting our planet. And this plastic piles up in dumps, sewers, beaches, islands in the oceans. And when it decomposes, it releases microplastics, like the ones found in many cosmetics or synthetic clothing. Microplastics are often invisible to the naked eye and can be found in the air we breathe, the water we drink, the rain that waters our soil, and even in the polar ice. Microplastics enter the food chain of all living things. For example, fish eat these microplastics that eventually end up on our plates. The consequences are still unpredictable. We must change our attitude urgently. Plastic pollution, what now?